$60 in the fucking trash. Kylie, baby, you're a fucking billionaire and this is what we get as consumers? Seriously? Hello my loves, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mina. Thank you so much for clicking on this video or if you're one of my subscribers, thank you so much for clicking on another video of mine. I hope you all are having a wonderful Wednesday and I feel like I'm gonna be super opinionated in this video so stay tuned for that because those are the fun videos from Mina. But today we're gonna be unboxing this Kylie Cosmetics 24th birthday launch which is called the 24K Gold yeah i'm pretty sure that's the name but also this is gonna be my first time trying her rebrand and if you guys don't know she recently just rebranded her company and got rid of the old formulas old formulas so we'll see what that is about and also after we do the unboxing together i'm gonna be playing with her palette and creating two different eye looks this is the final eye look this is what i came up with so if any of that sounds interesting to you then keep on watching and i'm also gonna be announcing my color pop cherry collection winner somewhere in this video you'll never know though that's why you have to watch the whole video if i had to put up with this palette you do too. Sorry, boo. Guys, today we're not gonna have a Way Back Wednesday video because I'm super excited about this box. <laughs> also, it's a palette that I'm reviewing, so it kind of counts for it. I mean, shouldn't it? And we'll just continue next week with that. But anyway, the real reason why we're all here... Boom! So Kylie Jenner sent me this box special. Not on a PR, like it came from her address. I'm kidding. And I know she rebranded her brand. You guys see that it sold all the way, right? I didn't even get tempted. I was saving it for y'all. And guys, I obviously did not buy the whole collection because first of all, it was too expensive. And secondly, we're still in a pandemic and I don't have a job right now. But the first thing I noticed right away is that the package is still pink and inside looks like they says Kylie. I bought from her company before and the box looks very similar. And it says Kylie Jenner. And then, did I show you guys the inside? And that's how the inside looks like. I only got three products why was this anyway i got the palette obviously and she has pink bubble wrap so that's nice let me just go ahead and throw this box right there because it's not needed anymore i ordered two of these because these are the only ones that actually caught my attention and i really wanted to try something else besides the palette i believe this is the body highlighter and it says all gold everything this is how it looks like i'm not gonna lie her packaging is pretty cute very very cute the back of it has some info and yeah it's just like very gold and out there why did i just open that one so this one is probably gonna go in a giveaway but i'll just show you guys mine so here's the actual product out of the box it's pretty nice it's matte white with like gold letters on it very sleek and then that's the back with some more information i think it's the same information let's just go ahead and open and test it real quick so one thing i'm already noticing Noticing is that the tube does not come with like a little protector like most tubes do I think this is supposed to be like a champagne gold I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze a little bit of it Ooh. so that's how it looks like squirted out and it's very very smooth I'm gonna go ahead and just test out some on my collarbone that's really disappointing it was way more beaming than this in the photos are you supposed to wait until it dries hello where are you? It's not even showing up on my chest. What the heck? Am I supposed to shake it? It's super watery too. Let's go ahead and do some more right here. Okay, that's really not doing anything for me. And I believe this was $24. But I'm gonna go ahead and cover my ass and insert the price right there anyway. I expected the highlighter to be very subtle. But I expected some glow. I ain't seen any glow at all, guys. Okay, this is definitely a disappointment. Kylie, honey, I don't like that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and move on to the star of the show. Ta-da! Oh my god. The package here is very very cute and you can actually feel her outfit it feels very 3d her packagings are always cute and guys you're not gonna believe if i tell you this but in her old brand most palettes were like 48 dollars to 50 i believe but this palette was a whopping 60 dollars i'm not even kidding i believe it has more shades but girl and this is the bag so it has six shades in a row and then four rows total which is 
24 shades right on the shades i'm noticing are definitely a bit smaller but i want to go ahead and just review this real quick but i cannot at all wait until i do a comparison of her all palettes to this and those are the shades and it comes with a full-size mirror obviously and the mirror sticker has the number 24 in gold that's some attention to detail like in the past there were definitely some palettes from her that i gravitated towards but this one is not very appealing to me the only reason i grabbed it once again is so i can review it for you guys and also compare her all formula to this one i'm not gonna lie the price hurt and for a 60 dollars palette i expected a lot from this i already saw the campaign pictures and pictures online from other people that received it in a pr and to say that they were disappointing is such an understatement because i understand this is some of her favorite colors and she's not a person who likes bright colors and stuff that's okay but this palette could have definitely been like a lot more fun it's very boring kylie boo boo what happened i have some of her old palettes and okay you know what let's just not go there yet i've seen seven to ten dollar palettes that look more of a higher quality than this one literally what the hell don't get me wrong her outside packagings are super cute but i think this is like the worst inside packaging like cheap looking that i own from her okay let's just go ahead and move on from the packaging because it seems like i'm obsessing over it which is not something that's healthy for me right now because it's just getting me worked up for 60 dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and do quick swatches for you guys of the whole palette so you guys can see the shades also i didn't know what to wear so i was just like you know what kylie loves her browns and bronze so maybe a yellow to kind of like brighten up the mood because i know my eyes will be hella boring today and those are the swatches okay i'm just gonna hide my broken nail real quick what do you guys think so far there are definitely a few shades that are calling my name right now but before i go ahead and move on to my eyes i just want to take a moment and tell you guys my swatch experience with this palette what i noticed when i was watching them is that first of all the matte shades were very buttery very creamy and they weren't like leaving a lot of fingerprints behind which is something that i noticed with a lot of palettes when i finger swatch them they leave like that finger mark if you know what i'm talking about and they're very pigmented those two bright mattes really impressed me especially like the brighter almost orangey one like this shirt that i'm wearing it has like a little bit of orange tint to it which is definitely a shade that i'm gonna be using tonight and the metallics were very buttery and very smooth i love them <laughs> i like them a lot but yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the look and then we can talk about the palette as i am you know creating the look so guys, the first shade I'm going to be taking is called Seize the Moment. And I really appreciate that this palette has a mirror. But I feel like at this point, I shouldn't even have to appreciate that because, you know, I dropped $60 on it plus tags. Yeah, guys, I'm also going to be claiming the tags because I feel like you shouldn't even have tags at that price. By the way, I've actually decided to create two different eye looks. That's cute. Because if you guys know me, I like playing around with as many shades as possible. And two different eye looks will help me with that. This shade is not patchy at all, but it's definitely less pigmented than when I swatched it on my hand. But it's still blending out very beautifully. By the way, if you guys are noticing, the palette looks like used because I already created an eye look with it. Before I got a really nasty ass headache and I had to stop recording for like 3 hours. And I actually was not going to record this video anymore, but now I'm back and feeling a bit better. So hopefully I can create looks for you guys and be happy with this palette my original plan was actually to create the same eye look for both eyes but now you know at least i can create different eye looks this shade is very beautiful though and now that shade is blended out as much as possible i'm gonna go ahead and deepen my crease or try to do that at least i want to take that brown shade but i'm really scared of browns guys i know a lot of people are scared of like bright colors but i'm more scared of like black and brown or deep brown i should say more than a lot of the colors but i still want to do it is Mina feeling ballsy today? We'll see. So the next shade I'm going to take to deepen my crease is going to be this shade called Moments in Time. Which is that brown shade. Very deep brown shade I should say. And bam. Look at that guys. Look at that beauty. It's not actually blending out very horribly. I feel like the brown is deeper here. So I'm trying to match it on the end. I like that a lot. And guess what guys. Now it's time to cut my crease. I'm going to go ahead and just clean up before I actually cut the crease. I'm going to go ahead and actually cut my crease off camera. Because your girl is struggling still with the cut creases here but i'll be right back to show you guys how it looks like i'm gonna actually go ahead and take my crease brown brush and just kind of like go over the crease i know i'm gonna be messing it up a little but that's okay because i feel like that brown is not showing up and next i'm gonna take this shimmer shade called better than gold and it's like a beautiful brown shade and i'm just gonna take that with a flat brush and put it on my eyelid 
hello are you there let's go ahead and spray this brush to give it a fair chance you guys saw how beautiful the swatches were right where is it okay i'm gonna go ahead and use my finger now because that ain't working for me you guys see it now right i'm gonna have to use my brush still because i need to correct that that's more like it guys that's more like it and next i'm actually gonna go ahead and do a wink liner or try to at least you guys know how much i suck at that but even though this is not like a kylie inspired makeup look i still want to do a wink liner just to kind of like you know remember her in some way Mina girl, what are you talking about? She ain't dead. But anyway, I'll be right back when that's done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And as the girls say nowadays, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a very thick coat of mascara. Seriously, Mina. And I'm actually putting on black gel liner on my upper lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back to show you guys this eye and we're gonna go ahead and move on to this eye. I kinda wanna do a gold one on this eye actually because this is like the 24K gold. So many nude shades. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and choose winning. I believe that's the one with the pink undertone because I kinda wanna try a different undertone than brown. Okay, I lied. It does not have a pink undertone to it. But you know what we're still gonna make it work really not impressed with that shade it's just like a typical brown shade <laughs> nothing very special about it honestly i'm actually gonna use that shade and use that to blend out the brown i don't know if that did anything for me do you guys see a difference at all let's give it one more chance it is picking up all right i definitely see a lot more right now and i'm happy with that okay i'm gonna go back to my brown that brown shade was definitely not deep enough but you know what it is what it is so once again i'm gonna go ahead and actually use my finger to apply one of the gold shades i don't know yet there are two of them that actually caught my attention and i think i'm gonna go ahead and go with that one Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and add wing liners to this eye. You know, finish the whole eye and I'll be right back to do the bottom of the eyes with you guys. And yeah, that's that. So guys, I'm kind of done with the eyes, but not quite yet. First of all, let's go ahead and choose a shade for the brow bone. Yeah? Okay, so I just went ahead and sprayed my brush. And I think this is 25 in Roman noodles. Did I just say that? <laughs> I believe this is the number 24 in Roman numerals. I stuttered there a bit. Okay. Oh no, guys. I forgot to do a different shade for this eye. But it's okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the inner corner. You guys know how much I love my inner corner to be popping. And I'm actually going to do a pop of color, which is going to be that beautiful pink shimmer called Birthday Magic. And I'm going to use the same brush. Kylie, are you serious right now? I don't see any pink. I keep packing it on there. Okay, I'm actually gonna take that pink slash coral shade. Is it pink? I can't even tell. I'm pretty sure it's coral. And I'm just putting that on my bottom lashes. Okay, I'm packing some more on there. If there's one person out there that's watching this video and you just get into makeup, this pile is a great one for you because you're just not gonna mess up with it. <laughs> even if you decide to pack the shades on there, I promise you, you're just not gonna mess up. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna take that deep brown shade. At least seven or more of these shades are not gonna work for my skin tone guys what about the people who have deeper skin tones than i do i mean that's just really sad so guys now i'm gonna take that ColourPop gel liner and i'm popping that on my left eye as you can see i can finally say the left eye is done completely and we're gonna go ahead and move on to my right one you guys have no idea how much i'm packing that shade with this brush and putting it on i'm almost using like half of the pan i feel like just for it to show up hmm i don't know man normally when i say hmm that means that there are just so many options to choose from but for this palette no shade first of all the browns just look very alike i guess i can just do the orange then almost like a full color i guess okay i'm just popping some la colors gel liner and now moving on to mascara okay guys i'm back and my face is done as you can see so let me just say some quick final thoughts and opinions about the products and you guys will be on your merry way but not really because i still have to announce the giveaway winner and just a little reminder that giveaway is the colourpop cherry collection and the winner for that is drum roll please 
Yvette. I believe she changed her YouTube name since then, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert her updated name with the comment that she commented on that video. Thank you so much, Han, for your continuous support and for commenting on almost every video that I post. That means a lot to me. That's really good for my small YouTube channel engagement, which I really appreciate for all the people that do that. Let me also take this moment to remind you guys of the current giveaway that I have going on right now. So don't lose hope if you haven't won any of my giveaways yet. Take this chance to click on the video I'm gonna put right there and check it out I mean what do you gotta lose right but anyway guys going back to my review now and by the way guys I forgot to put on this highlighter today on my face like I wanted it earlier I was just trying to beat my face up very quick because I'm not feeling the best right now I just don't think I like this body glow at all so this is gonna be a hard pass for me on a scale of 1 to 10 I would give it like a 2 as for the palette Personally, this is one of her boring palettes. This might actually be on top for me. First of all, she does too many browns, too many nudes. That's that. And secondly, I just feel like this was just another opportunity for her to do more gold and more bronze shades. She has way too many of those in her palettes as it is. I, I just didn't think she needed more of that. I was really impressed with the formula when I was watching them. But then when I actually, you know, started blending it on my eyes, they barely would show up. But I'm not gonna lie, once they showed up on my eyes, they were blending up very beautifully. They weren't patchy at all. So that's one thing that I'm very thankful for from this palette because if they were patchy along with the colors not showing up I would literally just drop it in the trash right now $60 in the fucking trash I would have definitely been pissed off it's not very versatile and unfortunately many of the nude shades in here are not gonna work for many skin tones as you guys can see I like that it comes with a mirror the outside packaging is phenomenal but the inside packaging you guys it's just not me look at that shit I don't know if it's just me but this just looks very very cheap it doesn't have any weight to it either I'm still very disappointed about that body globe but it is what it is it looked very nice on the pictures but i know pictures can be hella deceiving but a few questions that i'm gonna answer right now for you guys do you need this palette no unless you're either a kylie jenner fan or a kylie jenner makeup collector even as a regular makeup collector i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep this it's not even the least tempting i'm so sad that i even purchased it as for the eye look it turned out pretty decent i mean this is like one of her favorite eye looks of all time she just likes very simple and i'm definitely not judging her based on that at all i just feel like the nudes are just getting out of control kylie what are you doing hun so in the next week or so i'm gonna go ahead and compare her old formulas to this formula so We'll see how that is and then I'm gonna go ahead and sell this palette because girl. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye.